government from this and that ministry they are given directives you are supposed to do this so today they are doing something and tomorrow they are doing another thing day after they are doing another thing and they are becoming expert in everything fine that is very nice but the point is that if all that is going to lead to some result what we were told that we want to change society we want some social change social transformation somebody wants to put a limit to population growth yes it's a great noble hope yes we can do it provided we don't have any one formula to do that we have to consistently apply our participatory approach to try and try and try to the extent that it is not only just women or children or adolescent or youth or old person but everybody in society women don't live in isolation they are part of this society so whatever they do is also reflecting on what is going on in society and if we want to change our perspective rightly pointed out by dr ajay kumar that it is not gita bible the creation of knowledge is in our hands so you have theoretical aspects discussed the idea is that the practical preoccupation that you have in your field we feel that the two should be married and how it will be done is the job of adult educators you are adult educators so you are the best candidates for linking the theoretical aspect to practical aspect and in turn take it to the level of grassroots workers with whom you interact in one capacity or the other to simplify what the practice of adult education is all about so that then our goals of total literacy goals of 65% literacy uh, rate going up to 75 to 85 by year such and such all this can be realized only through a process and the process where you are not doing all the time just practical work without even thinking reflecting about it we have to reflect and once the reflection part comes that comes a from your own self from own self to the other and from the other to everybody you have this learning package our goal in this learning package was to enhance the concept of participation and which in turn means that we want everyone the those who are using this learning package to reflect and reflection in itself is not sufficient reflection has to lead to some action thank you very much for bearing with me thank you thank you madam uh, now the thing is open for the discussion my question is the prerak who is actually teaching are taking the class of adult education centers is definitely below the age of the learner learners age are more and their philosophy of life is different and here the philosophy of life is quite different how to establish a good relationship between the two theory is something different and the practice is something di- different when i am talking i am talking something else when i am practicing that is something different so how to have the re- good re- um, uh, relationship next okay like we need to uh, think on the processes as well because we have a uh, already have a kind of a structure in place which is dealing with the uh, illiteracy pro- uh, problem and it is also uh, looking at the future aspect how we would be uh, making it a lifelong learning program this is already in process now we need to check out the strategies how we would be taking this to the prerax and the nodal prerax because they are the one who are directly linked with the beneficiaries of the program next okay 
adult learner have to remain in a perspective and that perspective uh, kind of a thing that caste, class, society, his personality, his emotions are also becoming very important. This uh, become perhaps important for a view of the capacity building of us. Yes, okay. Will you please uh, come out with more clarification about the medium of instruction? Well, you were referring about uh, the, uh, the, the learners, to, through which language they should learn. I request Dr. Ajay Kumar to please clarify. The first question was the gap between the learner and the motivator or the prayer, or you can call the volunteers uh, there. I think it is there, of course. We need to train them and uh, this gap is there and that is our resource constraint uh, in the country. Uh, particularly for the meager uh, budget we have uh, for adult education programs. But uh, let me just to give you just one idea that all of us work everything behind have some conception of what it is like and why do we work. The products themselves they have come there with some kind of motivation and this self-concept or identity forces them to work more and that is the main basic motivation and the kind of things they are told they make up their role much further fruitful or meaningful in terms of interaction with these and particularly teachers or educators uh, they make uh, learning a quite a motivating thing for even for the adult learners. Probably they will use the uh, popular language or the uh, metaphors or other things where they would like to impress them and to motivate these adult learners. And there is no problem with that, I think. But yes, training uh, is must and we need to educate further. And uh, since uh, much of education uh, is related to functional literacy, so much philosophical aspect has to be uh, done by that and let us not argue or dispute that we are not intellectuals everybody is intellectual in fact all of us in exercise our intellectualism in every field almost but the only thing is that we are not always conscious and we do not articulate or structure that kind of intellectualism whether we are small or old or big uh, probably everybody has the potential and one can really improve upon that and that is basically a matter of resource lack rather than actually the lack of philosophy of uh, education behind that. Now the second question was uh, more of a general that learners are not really motivated. Uh, of course they would never be motivated so long this is a top down approach that means it's a package program from the above. So unless uh, people are taken into consideration, their resources, their values, their aspirations, their strives, their struggles, their dreams, and do a really a deeply learning survey about their aspirations, and thereby we can, we can also bring them into participation. The entire program should be developed based on their participation right from its inception. That is the answer. Now, another question was related to medium of instruction. Standardization of a process, standardization of a text, standardization of an evolution system that a particular level of knowledge or a pace is important or that achievement is more important, I think that is not really the case. In case of language learning or literacy learning in fact, what I emphasize, I tell all generally my all my colleagues and students that emphasize on the content. In, emphasize on the aspirations, emphasize on the generative themes or the emotions where the motivation lies to act in fact for the learners and thereby with these resources, language resources, linguistic resources you can build on and then standardization comes next in fact. Dr. Ajay Kumar has uh, basically covered most queries and I don't think there is uh, anything very much for me unless you relate your practice to theory or your theory to practice, I don't think that we can approach in a balanced manner. Then there will be problems, there will be difficulties. You want to solve your difficulties, then try and see how you can derive theory out of your day-to-day -day experiences and how your day-to-day -day experience can be directed, modulated, modified by your thinking. That is all. First of all, I must uh, thank the two speakers for strictly, I mean, follow the timing. 
And uh, secondly, I must congratulate the two speakers for making their presentations very clear in brief and concise. Once again, I thank you all.